What's up guys, Sinesh here from Carbus, and in this video I'll be showing you how to do the wiring for your very own DJ soundboard. Making your own DJ soundboard is very easy. All you'll need is four buttons, a potentiometer, a buzzer, and six jumper wires. You'll also need this car block setup that I explained how to make in the last video. Without it, it'll be hard to mount your buttons and play with your soundboard freely. Be sure to check out that video. The first step is to get one of your buttons, stick them into your box, and then hold it in place, and from the bottom, insert your jumper wire. This will keep it secure. Repeat the following with your other buttons, and your potentiometer, and your buzzer. Then we can move on to the next step. Just an important reminder, when you have your wire and your module, connect them so that the grooves fit nicely onto the rail. If you do it the other way around, you may damage your pins and break the plastic connection, and you'll also reverse the signal of the button. So be sure to connect it like this. Once we've done connecting the jumper wires to the bottom of the box, we can begin attaching them to the board. These five wires here will be connected to input 0 to input 4, and the buzzer will be connected to output 0. Since we're not using any LEDs in this project, we can ignore these spots here. However, if you want to customize the project and make it even better, you can connect your buttons, so for example your blue button, to the associated blue LED and then connect those wires to the remaining outputs. I'll now quickly go ahead and show you how each wire is connected to the board. So potentiometer will go to input 0, the blue button will go to input 1, the green button will go to input 2, the yellow button will go to input 3, and the red button will go to input 4. Finally, the buzzer will go to output 0. Be sure to connect them all the right way as you did with the modules. This is just a little close up so you can see that everything has been connected properly. And finally, when you close your box, your setup should look like this. And that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next part of this project where we'll learn how to program your board using Cardiblock.